Okay, today let's talk about uh, interlacing for uh, lenticular, lenticular printing. So, uh, interlacing. Yeah, maybe I should. Uh, I think I, I made a blog blog post about that. Let me let me grab it. I'll be right back. Yeah. So I I did make a post about that quite quite a long time ago. So I'll put the link uh, in the description. But here um, it shows uh, the lens with the lenticu lenticules, and it shows where uh, you know each pixel from each frame or view goes. So it when you interlace, the input is always a, a sequence of images, and you want to interlace those images. So that uh, under each lenticule, lenticule, hopefully you have stuff coming. F you have stuff coming from all the views and in the right order. So I'm not gonna. If you're interested, you can just read that, or you can, you know, go on the web and get probably a better explanation. So anyway, so to interlace. On Windows, uh, I mean, you can do it b yourself in uh, GIMP or Photoshop. You can certainly do that. It's not that easy, I think. Or you can just use uh, software. So, so with on Windows, you can use uh, Superflip, and I think I might talk about it at the end. And there's also this one, which is called uh, Grape. And it's coming from uh, it's like it's like Weiss, Weissman, it's and uh, the website is uh, Pop 3D Art. So of course I'll put uh, a link in the description. So you download this guy, and I already done that. And now we can try to run it and see uh, see what happens. Okay, so here I have my uh, grape that I unpacked and I have my sequence. So maybe let's look at the... Should we look at the sequence first? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yes, okay, so let's look at that sequence. So I got that sequence using uh, 3D photo in painting. So the input for the whole thing was just a single 2D image. So this is my sequence. Uh, I made a video about how I got that sequence from a single image. So I'll, I'll put a link to the video inside the video somewhere on the top right. So let's look at that sequence. So I'm going to use uh, photo viewer so that's number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so the reason i have 12 is because i use a lenticular lenticular lens that's 60 lpi and my printer which is an epson has a resolution of 720 so um when you divide 720 by 60 you get uh 12. so that's why i have 12 views 12 frames the numbering so uh, when you look at the manual for a grape it it a asks you to number the views like that one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I don't know if it's allowed to have uh, like zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four instead of just one, two, three, four. I haven't tried that. You may, you may want to try it. I don't know if it works, but in the manual it says you have to do it that way. So I do it that way. Okay. So now let's go into the the grape business. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to run, so double click on the grape.
Yeah, there, may, there may be some background noise. I'm running the AC. So I'm sorry about that. Okay. So it asks, it's, it's asking you for a job file. So if it's your first time, uh, you can just uh, you can just say cancel. Okay. So now you have all those stuff to fill out. Uh, horizontal printing density. So that's your resolu the resolution of the the printer. Uh, Epson. Epson 720. Uh, the other guy 600. So I have Epson. So it's going to be 7. 20. Vertical. Uh, in the manual it says to use twice the uh, the LPI of the lens but I don't know why you would want different uh, resolution. Uh, I can understand it but I think it's easier to just say okay let's put the same one on the other s on the other direction. So 720, 720. Uh, measured pitch. So uh, I assume you have already done a pitch test, so you already know uh, your pitch, the true pitch. In my case, 60.12. So the pitch, the pitch, the pitch, the pitch, it depends mostly on the lens itself, the, um, the thickness of it. I think that's the most important factor. And then it also depends on the it also depends on the printer and it also depends on the paper uh, I think uh, the most important thing is the uh, thickness of the lens but you know so okay so let's say you, ha you have done your pitch test and you got that okay the picture width in millimeter okay so now I'm used to work in inches so now I have to let me get my trusted converter. Uh, my I'm printing on the lenti lenticular lens that's six by four landscape. So six six inches is uh, one fifty two point four. So I put that here, and the height the height is uh, 4, so I put 4, so 101.6 101.6 okay the margin width and the margin height so those are for the alignment heads so I'm gonna leave the default minus 1 and 5 but you can certainly change that so this this is also in millimeter, but uh, uh, like the margin width, I put it negative, so it, it means it's gonna add stuff to the left and the right. So it means that uh, you may want to reduce that number so that you get the proper the proper size. Okay. Same thing for the margin height. This number adds to this guy. Okay, so if you want to account for that, you have to reduce your picture height. Same thing for the, the, the width. Okay. Okay, then the image format, I have uh, I have uh, TIFF. I have TIFF. And the direction, so the direction is the sequence going left to right or right to left. So it depends how you get your... Uh, sequence if you use like a slide bar and you go from left to right then you leave it that way but in my case uh, it's going right to left if you're not sure you just go with the default left to right you do your uh, interlacing you put it on the uh, on your lens and if all the depths are inverted well you know that you should have uh, switched the uh, direction easy enough so that's it so then you submit save job uh, say oh yes sure and I'm gonna put it 
let's make sure you don't put it put it where your sequence is the sequence that you use so I put it this is where my sequence is so I'm gonna put it here I already have one but I'll save it anyway so save oops save yes so now it's gonna ask you where the sequence is and by diff uh, so now he knows okay so now he knows where I'm supposed to be so that's good so demo sequence uh, yes so now when you save so again make sure you're in the right directory so I'm gonna put it here so I'm gonna call it uh, da and you save okay job completed completed so you quit here and now we're gonna go into uh, into GIMP and see how it looks like okay so I've just loaded the TIFF file into into GIMP so that's how it's supposed to look so uh, on on the left and right side so you have the alignment head, heads so basically when you uh, when you when you uh, put your uh, after you printed and you put uh, the printed image under the lens uh, on the on the left and the right side you should see like a vertical line vertical black line so that takes care of the rotation so for centering assuming that you have uh, your interlaced image under the lens when you look at it this uh, fat black mark here you see it here this thing that you see okay here right here it should be at the center of this pattern here okay this is the pattern and it's it's very obvious you will see that if you are uh, correct uh, if the the image is, uh, if the lens is co is as the, is the correct orientation it's a line if you move it left right you will see this thing uh, move under that pattern so you want that black thing to be in the middle of the pattern here okay let me zoom 100 and let me see maybe it's clearer yeah so let me see if I can uh, paint something okay so uh, so this is that thing okay that black that black thing here that black uh, segment and this is the this is the pattern this thing eh, it's not very good let me redo it yeah so this thing here so that thing here that thing at the top should be at the center of this pattern here I hope it's clear and there's another one on the left there's another one on the right and same thing you have the exact same thing at the bottom okay so uh, what else can I say I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm uh, I mean it's very easy to use grape I gotta say what else can I say I think I might uh, run super flip and see how to do it in super flip the same thing exactly the same thing okay so now let's see how you do it in super flip to 
to get super flip you uh, just google uh, super flip lenticular download or something like that and you'll get to this page i'll probably put a, a link in the description uh, i guess you have to give your uh, email address and then you can download it uh, i think this is the uh, there are two versions there's another version but i always use that one it's totally fine i don't uh, I don't know if there's another way to get that one, but all right. So yeah, so I have super flip here. Let's run that that thing. Okay, so first thing, add. So that's your sequence. Okay, so my sequence is somewhere in there. So you select all those. Uh, the order. So uh, I'm never completely sure what the order is supposed to be. Uh, so what I do is usually I just go through this order, the default, and then if it's wrong, I just reverse it. There's a way to reverse it. Yeah, invert. I don't remember if I need to invert here. Let's say I have to. I don't know. So, uh, so you process. You make sure that it's correct. Okay. So you go to process. Okay. So it's very simple. Uh, Sixty point twelve. That's your LPI measured. Uh, uh, so here I have preserve aspect ratio. So what? It Anytime I change something here, it's going to change the, the height. So if I change the width, let's say I put, uh, let's say I put six, uh, it's going to automatically change the height. That's nice. And so if I have a six by four uh, lens, I would probably put, I would change the height to four. Uh, okay, what else do you need to do? Resample. You need to resample. There's no way around it. So you resample to the uh, to the PPI of your printer. So seven to zero. I'll al al alignment marks. Uh, yeah, I mean if you can have you can do that if you want so it's going to put marks left right top bottom and you can ha you have the options you can do uh, uh, all of them or if you want you can put none and just like grape it adds up to your dimension so you have to take that take that into account so i'm going to say okay to that but you don't have to what else do you need to do so that's uh, that's done automatic preserve aspect ratio uh, interest direction vertical and you process so here you might complain because of this 720 you might have to put 1440 I don't think it matters process yeah I'm gonna go ahead, I don't think it matters. I mean you can change it but it doesn't really matter. Are you sure you want to continue? I'll say yes and uh, AI is gonna ask you if you want to enhance. Uh, usually always enhance. So okay and then he's gonna ask you where do you want your interest image. So I'm gonna put it next to the other one. longer than grape that's for sure 
it depends also how much you enhance okay so it's done exit let's go into the gimpo so file open this one okay so it's very similar i think uh um yeah i think i got it right on the uh so you see very similar very similar to me the only uh, real difference is the fact that grape with grape you can center your lens this business yeah the center pattern so please read the manual about this it's it's, it's pretty cool so super flip yeah so if you uh, zoom a little bit okay so here you can see the uh the basically the top margin left margin right margin and there's a bottom margin so this is alignment heads so uh, it helps you uh, make sure that uh, your image is aligned to the lens the vertical alignment uh, I don't know what else uh, I'm gonna say about this Maybe I'm gonna try to explain how I. Uh, I mean, I use six by four lenses, so it's very small. So, I mean, I may. I think I'm. I'm gonna explain how I. Uh, uh, and I use uh, uh, the adhesive is already it's the film adhesive, so I just have to peel the film and it it's ready to glue. So maybe I'll explain how to. Oh, I, oh, I uh, affix the image to the lens, so I'll be right back. So let's say, let's draw the lens, the lenticular lens. So I'm using my tablet and I'm not very good at it. So, apologies. So that's my 6x4. 6x4. And what I do is that I score, the f so this is a uh, film side, I score with a razor blade somewhere here. So I score the, uh, the adhesive uh, film. Uh, so I, I lift a little bit here making sure that the score is deep enough. And what I do is that I uh, put a piece of tape here something like that piece of tape here piece of tape there so now uh, I'm ready to uh, do the gluing so I turn over the lens I put the uh, the interlaced image underneath I do my alignment centering whatever once I'm happy uh, I press hard here and I remove and I remove that uh, strip of film using uh, either one of the uh, tape so I basically peel the film either this way or that way and uh, once the film is uh, peeled so now I press uh, press pretty good all the way here and uh, I'm almost done so now all you have to do is to uh, uh, if you have a laminator you uh, you, let, you let it go through the laminator if you don't have a laminator uh, which is my case what I do is that I just uh, remove the rest of the film so that the film that's here carefully and I'll just make sure that uh, I press uh, when I pressing going this way making sure I don't create air bubbles uh, very simple and once you've done that uh, you're gonna have some silvering effect so you need to uh, I use uh, like a squeegee or you can use the I don't know uh, I think it's called a briar briar 
it's like a roller and it gets rid of the the silvering so yeah so that's that's about it uh yeah i'm uh i'm really not a pro at this i mean there are some uh, there are a couple of facebook groups about lenticular printing uh where you can ask question and hopefully you can get an answer you don't always get an answer but you can try so anyway i think i'm gonna stop here uh, so if you like this kind of content please uh like comment subscribe and i'll uh, i'll try to do more okay bye